Is there evidence God exists? Yes. Allah has sent down miracles, revelations, and messengers to give clear proofs he exists and, more importantly, what we should do once we come to this realization. Allah has sent prophets and messengers with many proofs throughout the ages for people to see with their own eyes clearly and use their senses the miracles and evidence pointing to the fact that Allah does exist. Miracles of prophets and messengers of Allah have come to people through the ages. Moses, peace be upon him, showed many blessings to the Pharaoh and the children of Israel. Plagues, locusts, water turning to blood, his stick becoming a snake, the voice in the burning bush, and the parting of the Red Sea are apparent miracles for the people of Moses' time. Again, Allah sent Jesus, the son of Mary, peace be upon him, with apparent miracles for the people of his time. Speaking from the cradle while still a newborn infant, creating birds from clay, curing the sick, giving sight to the blind, and even bringing a dead man back to life, were all clear signs to the people to know Jesus, peace be upon him, was a messenger of Allah as was Moses before him. Muhammad, peace be upon him, was Allah's last and final messenger, and he was sent to all of humankind. Allah sent him with several miracles, not the least of which was the Quran. The predictions and prophecies of Muhammad, peace be upon him, have come true even in this century, and the Quran has been used to convince even scientists of the existence of Allah. Please visit Science Proves Allah, watch video of famous scientists admitting Quran is from Allah, and even accept Islam the Quran is the best proof for Allah's existence, and today, over one and half billion people memorize and recite the exact text in the same language it was revealed in, Arabic. More than 10 million Muslims have completely memorized the entire Quran from cover to cover and can recite it from memory without looking at it. No one sees or hears Allah, not even the Prophet Muhammad. We cannot use our senses to make contact with him. However, we are encouraged to recognize that this entire universe could not possibly come into existence independently. Something had to design it all and then put it into motion. This is beyond our ability to do, yet we can understand it. We know from the teachings of Muhammad, peace be upon him, the proofs for the existence of God, Allah, are most apparent to us in our everyday surroundings. Anyone with understanding would quickly acknowledge his presence provided they are not so stubborn to ignore the obvious evidence right in front of us. We don't have to see an artist recognize a painting, correct? So, if we see photographs without seeing artists painting them, in the same way, we can believe Allah created everything without having to see him, or touch, or hear, etc.